hi everyone how are you all hope you all are doing well so in this video i am sharing my pre ramadan preparation some snacks which you can make and store it well in refrigerator and when you want just take out from fridge wait till it become at normal temp room temperature and then fry it and enjoy so i will be prepare here very easy yet tasty dishes like chicken keema samosa mix veg box patties aloo samosa sausage roll hope you will like it so keep watching so let's begin with mix veg box patties here i had taken some mix vegetables like cabbage capsicum and frozen veg like carrot beans and corn cabbage and capsicum i had cut in small pieces and for spices here i've taken salt to taste 1 teaspoon garlic powder 3 4 teaspoon ginger powder 1 teaspoon chili flakes 1 teaspoon garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon amchur powder masala you can add more or less according to your taste as well here i'm showing sweet soya sauce white vinegar and soya sauce we will use 1 teaspoon each of them it will give some chinese fusion taste in our box patties it's very easy and quick recipe first i heated a pan i added 1 tablespoon oil in a pan wait till it hot and then here i added 1 pinch hing or acetophytia or and 1 teaspoon zira or cumin seed wait till it crackle and then uh, add mixed vegetable and stir it well I stir it two or three times and then cover the lid and wait for two minutes till the vegetables get tender. After two minutes, I open the lid and mix all the spices. Mixed it really well. Now I had been stirring for 2 minutes and now I'm adding sweet and sour soya sauce vinegar in the mixed vegetable mix it really well again now one tip I would like to give you all that these soya products contain good amount of salt so earlier when you when when you were adding the salt add salt accordingly I mean add less salt to balance the taste that would be perfect After stirring a while, switch off the gas and keep aside and wait till it cools down at room temperature. Now let's begin chicken keema samosa. So for that here I had taken 250 grams minced chicken meat and added in a wide wok. Now I added around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon ginger and garlic paste in it. I'm not adding any sort of oil in the mixture as this minced meat will be automatically release fat. So yeah, uh, now stir it really well for a while. After a while I am adding here 1 teaspoon haldi or turmeric powder and salt to taste mix really well After 2 or 3 minutes stirring well I am adding 1 teaspoon red chili powder 1 teaspoon cumin seed powder 1/2 teaspoon garam masala powder mix all properly and stir it for again 2 or 3 minutes Now here I am adding one chopped green chili and few chopped coriander leaves it will enhance the taste and aroma of keema mix well stir it for a minute and turn off the gas keep aside for cool down and here our filling for keema samosa is ready now i'm making slurry to stick the samosa patties so i have taken here 1 tablespoon all purpose flour and around 1 and 1/2 tablespoon water in it mix it well and it's ready So here I had taken uh, spring roll sheets to make mixed veg box patties and keema samosa. So as you can see, I had made box patties in this shape. It's very easy and different from usual pattern. And to keep the sides back, I put some slurry and packed it. So I just made all these box patties in this way and then wrapped with a damp cloth. So all our 
box patties are ready i had kept in a tray and then we will freeze it I made keema samosa in this way as you can see and spread some ghee or you can use oil also for binding well Here all our samosas are ready now we'll keep samosa and box patties in the freezer After 4 or 5 hours I will be take out from fridge and ship them in a Ziploc plastic bags it will stay fresh up to 15 to 20 days so that's how I make samosa and box patties and store for Ramadan After pack this I will keep them again in freezer Here I am preparing for alu samosa so let's begin to make alu samosa mixture here i have taken around half kg potato or alu i added 1 teaspoon salt and water now boil them for 4 to 5 whistle or until potato had been cooked really well Now for samosa I am making dough so for that here I have taken around 250 grams all purpose flour 1 teaspoon salt and 1 teaspoon ajwain or carom seeds 1 tablespoon ghee or oil then mix it well with hands and then knead the dough with small amount of water uh, in order to make slightly hard dough use less amount of water Now here our dough is ready. I am keeping in damp cloth so that dough can rest for a while. After a while, take out the damp cloth and knead it again for one or two times. Now roll it with hands and then cut it into four equal parts and make a peda. Now take a peda and roll it to make chapati or roti. As you can see, I'm rolling chapatis here, and then apply ghee or oil on top of that. Just accept upper one, then roll whole set to spread it well. Now switch on a gas and put a pan on very low flame for around 1 minute and then put this chapati set on it keep 1 minute each side and then take out the side and let it be cool at room temperature
Now gently pull out each chapatis and then set again and then cut it in half way. Here we will make alu mixture for our samosa. So for that, take out the skin from potatoes and then mash it properly. I had taken here three to four small onion, three to four garlic pods, one in ginger, two green chilies. Chopped all of them into small pieces and keep aside. I had taken pinch of hing or acidophilia and one teaspoon zira or cumin seed too. These are few spices like half teaspoon haldi or turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chilli powder, one teaspoon chilli flakes, one teaspoon amchur or dry mango powder and half teaspoon garam masala powder. I mixed garam masala powder and amchur powder together. Now heat a pan, put one tablespoon oil in it. When it hot, add hing and zira in it. Then wait for 30 seconds and add chopped onion, ginger and garlic. Mix it well. When it turns slightly golden in color, then add all spices, mix properly, and then put mashed potato in it. Stir it for a minute, and then add chopped coriander leaves and switch off the gas keep aside till it comes to room temperature and here our potato mixture is ready Here I am making samosa so for that I had made that slurry which I made earlier 1 tablespoon all purpose flour and 1 and half tablespoon water mix it well. Now you can see how I use this slurry to bind samosa. Fill the potato mixture in samosa packet and pack this way. Keep aside I made all samosa in this way. Here our all samosas are ready and we can freeze it up to 15 to 20 days. I had frozen these alu samosa same as I had frozen box patties and quinoa samosa. It's time to make sausage roll recipe. So for that I had taken here chicken sausage, slit it into two parts. Now if you want smaller in size, you can cut again into half part. And now to add little spices, I had taken here one tablespoon mixed herb. Mix it with little water. Now gently spread it on the sausage. Here you can see how I packed sausage with the spring roll sheet and in order to make the sausage roll. And it's done it's very easy and quick to make with this process i made all of my sausage now will be fry it i'm not sure this you can freeze for longer time i just made and had it one or two days you can freeze it and then use it So here all of our snacks for Ramadan had been done. It's time to fry. Our alu samosa, box patties, keema samosa, all I fried once to show you and really it tastes delicious. So that's how I do my Ramadan preparation, pre-Ramadan preparation to save my time and energy to be more focused in ibadat and other things. Hope you like my videos. If you want to see some more 
प्री रमादान प्रिपरेशन वीडियोस विल बी सैंड द लिंक इन माय डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स व्हिच आई मेड लास्ट ईयर एंड इंशाल्लाह विल बी मेक मोर वीडियोस रेसिपीज इन रमादान विशिंग यू ऑल हैप्पी रमादान एंड हैप्पी फास्टिंग डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट येट हैप्पी टू सी योर कमेंट एंड फीडबैक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग विल बी सी यू ऑल इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेक केयर बाय